What's up guys? So uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys quickly how to just kind of make your computer a little bit faster, delete some temp files. Um, this is basically just a video, like a cleanup video for your computer which should help for gaming performance and it helps you all around with just the overall performance of your computer. So I know a lot of you guys were complaining about my last video or kind of just, you know, sending in that there were problems basically saying that, you know, you couldn't hear what I was saying or you couldn't understand my steps. Uh, a lot of it was my microphone problem and you know the video was very choppy it was used on a very bad computer some stuff was crashing during the video it wasn't the best video um for most people it got the job done but for some people they wanted me to redo the video so that's what i'm here to do today it's going to show you how to make your computer quicker so i'm going to be starting with some of the more well-known methods like you know deleting temp files changing your system properties stuff like that and then i'm going to move on to some of the more uh underground methods some underground programs that can be used stuff like that to make your computer quicker so we're going to start out with the most well-known method. First, you're going to go into the search bar, type in percent, T-E-M-P, percent. And there usually be some files in here. Sometimes it'll say the name of a program. That's not actually the program. It's just some leftover junk files from when you used it or installed it, stuff like that. So you don't really need any of this. So they can usually all be deleted. Um, actually, you know, most of them can be deleted. A couple of them aren't going to be able to delete it because it'll be open in the Explorer. You know, you'll be using it or just won't let you delete it at all. So you just hit do this for all current items and you hit skip. So when that's over, you finish that. Okay, now you're going to hit start again. You're going to go to computer. You're going to right click and you're going to hit properties right here. And you're going to go to advanced system settings right here. And uh, under performance here, you're going to hit settings. And if you're really desperate for good performance and you don't really care how your computer looks, how the desktop looks, you're going to hit to adjust for best performance right here. But if I do that, it'll probably stop recording, so I'm not going to click it for you. But um, the less of these you have checked, the better your computer will perform. But um, my computer's good enough, um, as you can see, it's 5.9 here, but it's really usually better than that. The only thing holding it back is the uh, the 4 gigabytes of RAM, but it's a good enough computer that I don't really need to uncheck any of these. Um, I have one of them unchecked, but that's pretty much it. So um, You don't have to change any of this. Uh, the thing you really want to go to here is advanced, right here, and you're going to hit change. Now, I already changed this, but um, before I did this, it was only allocated at about, like, you know, 3,800 megabytes or something, you want to bring it to about the recommended, maybe a little bit lower, a little bit higher. You know, I could bring this to six, 7,000 if I wanted to, but I mean, this is good enough. You basically just want to bring it to whatever it is recommended. You're going to make sure that uh, this is unchecked here, and then you hit custom size, and you type in what you want to type in. Basically, just keep it around the, uh, the recommended, maybe a little higher, a little lower. It doesn't really matter, as long as you have enough hard drive space to account for it. And that's really the big thing is that this is basically RAM, but it's virtual RAM. So it's not actually physical, tangible RAM that's inside your computer, but more so some of the uh, the RAM, or not, not even real RAM, but it's kind of just virtual memory that's taken out of your hard drive. The difference between that and normal RAM is that this RAM obviously isn't going to be as fast because that's not really what hard drives are meant to do. They're more, they were more you know designed to store information as opposed to processing it. So that's why it's not going to really make that big of a difference, but it's still something that you should make sure is at the recommended. So I'm going to hit OK hit OK and hit OK I'm going to exit out here and now we're going on to the next step which will be CCleaner so this is one of my favorite programs um, I'll leave a link in the description for all the programs that I mentioned um, this is really good because it's just a really good cleanup all around it basically deletes stuff like temp files but also deletes other stuff in your computer that you don't really need so some of this stuff is unchecked not because if you delete it it'll be dangerous or anything usually it's usually just because some of the stuff you might want to keep like i keep my internet cache and my saved passwords and stuff like that in case if i want to revisit because i don't want to have to retype in all my saved passwords and stuff so you're just going to analyze here i don't use internet explorer so i know that i can delete whatever's in here and it won't make a difference um and that that's pretty much that so it takes a little bit to analyze i don't really have a huge problem like Usually I like keeping my saved passwords, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to delete most of the stuff here except for the saved passwords and uh, stuff like that. Um, so this is just going to perform a really good cleanup for your computer overall. Now you can uncheck and check as much as you want. Uh, the more you check, obviously, the more it will be deleted. So this just usually takes uh, a minute or so. You know, it usually doesn't take this long. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it, you know, it'll have a problem doing this, and sometimes it'll take a little bit longer than it should. But it's really not a big deal. Um, but I guess while this is still going on, uh, I don't exactly know why it's taking so long. You know, I'm gonna hit cancel, and I'm gonna hit analyze again. Hopefully, it'll pa surpass that. If it doesn't, well, let's hope it does. Um, <laughs> the next thing we're gonna be looking at is defragler. So I'm gonna hit yes sir. Okay, and. This tells you stuff about your computer, so it says disk health good, stuff like that. I think I already ran a defrag um, earlier, but I'm going to do it again. So you're going to go to um, Analyze here, and it'll tell you everything about your computer. So, no. 
So this will tell you basically about stuff about your computer, like the temperature, you know, how fast your hard drive is spinning, stuff like that. And it just tells you, um, you know, how long your computer has been on total and just internal temperature stuff, interesting stuff for uh, people who like to, you know, look at the statistics of your computer and how it's performing and such. But what's really important here is knowing how fragmented your computer is. So the more red you have here, the more you're going to really need to defrag. You know, there's actually a statistics thing, uh, forget the drive map here. Um, fragmented, and this is really a lot more fragmented. You basically don't want to have a lot of red. Like, most of my stuff isn't red, so my computer's already running pretty well. But uh, if you haven't run a defrag in a very long time, or if you've never run a defrag, it's probably going to be mostly red. Don't be alarmed. Just, you know, analyze it, and then hit defrag right here. But, um, oops. So, you know, this can usually take a little while. Like, it, it could take me up to an hour, half hour, depending on how long. You know, some people will take six, seven hours. You know, that's why it's good to do something while you go and you leave. Because it can often take a long time to defrag. Because it's going through each and every file or folder within your hard drive. And it's making it as efficient as it can. So that takes a very long time. But it brings very good benefits. And it'll often improve loading times on your game. Okay, so you see this uh this is analyzed it has 432 megabytes some people they say they got two three gigabytes i heard some people even say eight nine ten gigabytes so it's really good um so i guess i'm just going to delete all this most of this comes from chrome because i know a lot of people say chrome is a memory hog and that's actually very true um chrome does take up a lot of system resources and the fact that it just like stores a lot on your computer so you're gonna hit run cleaner here and you know it comes from other places too, but it's just a good way of cleaning up your computer and uh, getting rid of unnecessary files, stuff like that. So usually it doesn't take so long. I don't really know why it's taking so long, but um, we'll go back to that in a minute. So let's see how the defrag's doing. Yeah, so it's not even at one percent yet. So it can often take a long time to defrag a computer, even if it's not even really fragmented. It just takes a while. That's kind of just how it is. Um, I don't really need to keep frag uh, defragging, so I'm just gonna stop. But you're gonna let this run, um, and that's that. So this is still deleting. The next thing we're going to move on to is Advanced System Care 7. This is one of my favorite programs because it just does a really good all-around cleanup of your computer, but it also has options for tur uh, Turbo Boost, you know, it has some different tools and stuff. It keeps your computer safe, secure, stuff like that. So we're going to click on that now. And we're going to go into all the little tools here. You know, I haven't used this program in a very long time because I had it on my other computer. I just downloaded the other day on this one. So I don't really know all of the new things and new features that it comes with, but I know some of the basic ones and some of the very good ones. Um, it adds a turbo boost option. You can configure your own turbo boost. Uh, you can configure one for game modes. Let's start with that. We're going to configure our turbo boost for your computer. So, oh, this is loading here, I guess. Um, okay, yeah, I'm going to hit game mode right here. And I'm going to hit next. And this is all stuff that you can delete. So, I'm going to keep most of this. Disable scanner, themes manager, arrow glass effect. I'm not going to need that, so I'm going to do that. Disable themes manager. Um, I'm gonna keep that extra. Uh, nah, I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, printer support, not gonna need that. Disable keyboard hotkeys, I'm gonna keep that on. Bluetooth, not really necessary. Yeah, okay, that's about good. So we're gonna hit next. And let's see here. Version, okay, Steam client. I'm probably gonna not disable that just in case the game runs Steams or something like that. So, you know, I don't have very much on this computer, so it's not all that much that I can really disable, but, um, Usually there'll be more stuff that you don't really need to keep checked. So, um, advances in to boost performance. Yeah, sure. Why don't we use the power plan? Next, and you hit apply, and now it'll slowly boost and it'll tell you how much RAM. Okay, well that just completely stopped my recording. So, um, as you can see, I guess I wasn't really thinking about it. When you disable some of the themes and stuff like that, it kind of uh, stopped my recording. That's what I was worried about with the system properties before. It turns out this actually did the same thing. I didn't really think of that. But you know, uh, if, you, if you caught a glimpse of that, I'll. Uh, you know, you could tell that it actually it said it, I think it released something like 200 megabytes of RAM and it uh, it disabled some services, gave me some extra RAM performance, stuff like that. And it just, you know, it helped um, keep my computer as efficient as it could while it runs games. So that's what it does. Um, but I'm not going to do it again because obviously it's not going to work. It's going to stop the recording. So uh, next we're going to go to the toolbox features. And this is just some of the basic stuff. I'm not going to go through everything. But um, this is, helps you uninstall programs, not leave any left behind files. This shreds important files so that nobody can get their hands on them. Um, this cleans your desk. You know these are pro features, and so unless you're going to pay for it, you're not going to get it. But most of these features are usable without having to, um, you know, without having to buy the full version. So Game Booster, 
Um, I don't personally like this very much. I find that a lot of times it actually boosts my lag, but other people have found uh, benefits. So I don't know, maybe it depends on your computer, depends on the, you know, whoever's using it. So if you want to give it a shot, go for it. Smart defrag, it's a decent defrag system, but like I said, we already use defragler over here, so there's really no need for it. Um, registry defrag, um, this I've used a couple times, it's pretty helpful. Startup manager, it helps you uh, boot more quickly, but my computer boots in like 10 seconds anyway, so. It's no big deal. My malware fighter. Um, this helped me get rid of a virus on my old computer, so I highly recommend that. Um, I'm not going to go through everything, but you know there are some cool little uh, gadgets and stuff like that over here that you can really use to uh, keep your computer running at its best performance. Not just in terms of gaming, but in terms of just booting up quickly, running efficiently, making sure that nobody can get their hands on your information, stuff like that. So it's really a good program, and I uh, really applaud IOBit for making such a well-rounded program for everybody who wants to, you know, make their computer um, as safe and efficient as possible. So. Um, this is some of the other stuff that it does register fix, shortcut fix, internet boost. Um, I'm not going to do a defrag because we just, I already done that. Disk scan, no real need. Um, system optimization. Um, why not? So, for here, we're going to hit scan. And this can usually take a while. This usually takes about five, about five minutes. So, this kind of uh, takes a while to run through. But, um,. I'll just skip to where it ends and I'll show you exactly how many threats it detects. Probably not going to find too many threats, too many issues, maybe some, but um, my computer's fairly new. I haven't used that much on my storage, so it's probably not going to find, you know, that many problems. So, moving on. Okay, so the scan finished, and this is what it came up with. Um, my security's good, obviously. I don't really have that much information on here. Um, you know, I haven't really put in only a a couple credit cards, but I mean, you know, I don't really have all that much that can be taken from me. It has only a couple hundred gigabytes used, you know, so obviously my security is going to be okay. Uh, it's a fairly new computer, only a couple months old. Uh, performance, it's running medium, it says, and stability is medium. So this is uh, some of the issues. These are some of the issues, I mean. Um, so that found some registry errors, unused file extensions, stuff that just basically doesn't need to be there because it's not being used. Privacy issues, um, Steam, that's what I figured because that's the only thing I really attached a credit card to. Um, aside from Chrome, uh, junk files, you know, this is just some files all around app data, not surprised. Um, you know, I'm not going to go through all of this, but this is basically just some stuff that, well, isn't really necessary or can be, um, optimized to run at a better performance. So we're going to hit uh, repair here and it usually does it pretty quickly, but, um, it can take up to a couple minutes, but I don't really have that much. So that is that. Okay, so I pretty much finished everything I uh, really needed to do here, so... Okay, there we go. So everything's actually pretty good. So um, that's pretty much all the advice I have for you guys today. Uh, if you guys have a specific problem, be sure to drop a comment or PM me, and I'll try to help you to the best of my ability. I'd really enjoy helping all of you guys who, um, you know, take the time to watch my video, so thanks for that. Um, I guess that's pretty much it, so be sure to leave a comment and uh, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you on my next video. Thanks so much for watching.